disorder that affects a person's basic ability to move. But Jay Jones Doyle hasn't let cerebral palsy hold him back. The Montreal father has crossed all of the boundaries originally set out for him by the medical community. And despite the challenges he's been faced with over the years, he says he wouldn't change a thing. Here's Catherine Sheriffs with this week's Power of One. He's passing his love for music on to his son with every note, some encouragement. Jay Jones Doyle knows all about needing encouragement. He was born with cerebral palsy and has overcome so much. Oh, he is super good goal in hockey, but I can't score on him. The fact that he can even play That's sports with his son is amazing. Yeah. His mother was told he would never walk. Unwilling to accept that, Francine Jones worked with her son every night, helping him mimic the movements of walking. She remembers a phone call she got from the school when Jay was only five. I wanted to tell you that uh, your son grabbed the railing and went down the stairs on his own today. And I was, I was almost in shock. I don't think I ever had such a wonderful phone call in my life. All these years later, Doyle goes back to the same school to talk to the kids about his condition. He also gives conferences in the States about living with a stutter. Do you ever get discouraged? The answer is yes, but... Everybody moves beyond it. It's that same determination that got him into a graduate program at the John Molson School of Business. He even won the Student of the Year Award. He's just the kind of guy who doesn't see an obstacle, whether it be within the bureaucratic structure that, that can be in his way or challenges in class. In addition to being a star student, he was also elected president of academics. He's a, a great guy to work with. He, um, uh, he's ex extremely organized. He's very, uh, he has a lot of attention to detail. He can handle a lot. It's something Doyle always knew he could do. I had a chance to prove it, and uh, I did. Despite the challenges, he says he wouldn't change a thing about his life. His condition has given him great determination, and he says that has allowed him to do great things. Catherine Sheriffs, CTV News.